Hello and welcome to weekly vlog number 34. This is so weird. I'm starting it on a Saturday. I, my days feel so screwed up. No, I'm not. I'm starting it on a Sunday um, because I'm going on holiday in the morning. So today is going to be a very um, heavy day of relaxing and packing. I don't know. It's a holiday in England. So what does that mean you have to wear? Because it could be nice. It could be scorchingly hot. It could be absolutely peeing it down with rain for a week. So we will see. But today, this is actually a great time for the readathon, is the start of Becca's Royal Readathon. I'll link Becca's channel in the description or her announcement video or something. Um, sadly, the readathon will be done by the time this vlog goes up, but still give her credit for running the readathon in the first place. It's my fault for not doing a separate TBR but I have a little spread going in my journal. There are four prompts, it's starting today and it's ending next Saturday. And yeah, four prompts with books that I filled that I'm gonna be taking away apart from one. So let's start backwards. Um, the last prompt, Ursula, read a book with a witch. I'm gonna be reading Hex by Thomas Old Uvalt. I'm still going for Uvalt, I'm not actually sure. I believe he is Dutch. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and read this whole thing today. I can probably do it. Um, it's only a very little book. Well, it's 380 pages, but I read a 600 page book yesterday. So I'm not trying to flex, but like I did do it. And I'm running my own sprints at six o'clock tonight. So I think I can do this. But yeah, that is my Ursula book. And then some books I'm taking away. We have Sleeping Beauty, read a book that's been on your bookshelf for a lifetime. And I've gone for Snow Falling by Jane Gloriana Villanueva which I'm also, is also in my Do The Thing-a-thon TBR. And Do The Thing-a-thon starts Monday. So I'll be taking this away with me and hopefully getting to it there. The next one is Mulan, read a book with a strong female character and I've gone for Shatter Me by Tahara Muffy, which is my number one priority of my Do The Thingathon TBR as well. I don't know too much about this but it does say a thrilling superhero story and an unforgettable heroine. So heroine, strong female character. I, I don't know how to judge if she is actually a strong female character without reading it. So we're gonna say that she is. I'm not being too harsh on myself with this readathon. But yeah, this is the first one I'm gonna be reading for um, Do The Thingathon. So will definitely happen. And then the other one that will definitely happen because it's actually a buddy read with Becca and Helen is Prince Florian, read a book with a prince and I've gone for The Air by Kira Cass. So we're going to be reading 50 pages of this a day over the next however many days. So I'm going to be taking this one away with me and starting it hopefully in the car tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so that is my TBR for the Royal Readathon. And then the books I'm taking away with me for Do The Thingathon are these three, yeah, plus Van Line by Rainbow Rowell, plus The Cellar by Natasha Preston, and I'm taking my Kindle. Can I read all of these books? I think that I can. We're going away to a seaside town in the rain, so think my reading is going to be pretty solid but we will see how it goes I'm really excited I have a little packing list that I need to finish and get round to um but yeah I really don't know how to pack in this situation I've also my library hold has just come in for Obsidio the third Illuminae book which bad timing because I'm going away and I'm going to try and save all my data for my nighttime calls with Cole uh, so I don't really know how useful that is that I've got that right now, but I'd already, did, already delayed it once, so maybe I'll start listening to that while I pack. I've also started the audiobook for Anna and the French Kiss. Um, I started that as I was going to sleep last night. So yeah, the first plan though, I'm editing my vlog so that I'm going to schedule that to go up on Tuesday as normal. You won't even know I'm gone, there's video for Thursday too and there's already one planned for Saturday so you will not know I'm not at home. It might take me a little bit longer to get around to comments and stuff but hopefully that's okay. I just realised I've been talking for nearly five minutes so I'm going to be quiet but yeah. Plan is to settle down and read Hex. Hello, it is half twelve and for some reason I'm in bed. I don't know. Started reading Hex. Um, I'm on chapter five, which is page, don't know, 54. Um, it's fine. I like the idea. I don't quite like the writing style yet, but I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll get used to it. It's just a little bit different. 
um yeah i'm enjoying it but what i really want to do is just lie in bed and watch tv so i'm gonna watch after and then after we collided and not do much else i'm just gonna stay in bed um I'm going to have five days following this where I'm surrounded by people for four five days and the idea of just lying in bed and watching a film is very appealing to me. And then when those are done, it probably will be time for my sprints. So all sounds good to me. find the mute button and i'm not getting up i'm so tired we've just been to the pool so i've come back to, i was gonna say come home come back to the caravan had a shower and i'm gonna sit and read the air i'm like on page two and i need to get to about page 50 today and i have a strawberry and lime i'm chilling here my parents are hanging out with all the rest of the people they're with We're ordering a chinese and when it gets here i'm gonna go join them so nice little time by myself to have a read having the best time right now the weather is shockingly bad to the fact that we even had to stop shopping earlier because we were getting too wet walking between shops so yeah not the best um there's not an awful lot to do around here on holiday in the rain so tonight i'm sitting in and reading a book <laughs> so i have been reading my buddy read pages of the air really enjoying that loved the setup for it so glad that i took a break between the selection series and then like carrying on um so at book three and book four there's a massive shift it swaps main character and it makes sense what they're doing but it just i don't know i think if i would have read them back to back i would have got a little bit annoyed but been doing that really enjoying it and then i've started shatter me i'm on page 69 right now and I'm not really loving the writing style. It's too choppy for me. I keep using choppy. I don't know what I mean by choppy. But like, I understand the point of some of it, but not loving it. But I actually, ooh. oh, oh, two. thought I had a friend. I'm actually going to try and finish this. I have nothing to do for the next couple of hours. So I'm going to try. I thought I'd show you some of my purchases. So I actually got a book in a charity shop yesterday, which I didn't show you. And that is The Fill-In Boyfriend by Casey West. This was 99p. I read Casey West books really quickly. I don't think I've ever, maybe I've given one of them a four star, but like I'm never blown away. But I hadn't read this one yet. And I think it's like a, a fake dating thing. And 99p. So love it. Little, oh, <laughs> 
Lucky charms. Why not? Something else I could start doing tonight. I don't really know why I did it. I got a kid's um, Pixar colouring pack with the sticker sheet. Why? You answer me because I don't know. It's £2. I got it. I then got a really cute thing for... I'm going to put it in my bathroom. It's one of those crates. So you, you build it up. And I think I'm going to put it as like bathroom storage. I don't know. But it was £3. And then the most exciting thing. We went, actually, you would have seen a very, very quick vlog clip. I went into a normal shop that had an American section and I got Chex Mix. So Chex Mix, I have never seen in England. I freaked out. I get cold to send me bags of this and I get so excited. So I love Chex Mix. It's my favourite thing. One of my favourite things about America. And I found a bag. So I paid £4 for a bag of crisps, <laughs> really. Um, it was worth it, in my opinion. Hmm. but yeah not much bookish activity so i'm gonna chill and read some more of shatter me and hopefully have some thoughts hello um i don't really know why i'm vlogging i might have to stop reading shatter me i'm getting upset for a very silly reason okay if you don't know what shatter me is about we've met juliet uh, no one knows why Juliet's touch is fatal but the re-establishment has plans for her plans to use her as a weapon and kind of all that's happened so far is her describing how long it's been since someone's held her or she's touched somebody and I got really upset like I know it's stupid oh I just really want a hug from Cole I don't think it's the time for me to read this right now while I'm on a family holiday with loads of like couples my age who are you know buying houses and stuff together and it's already hard on me emotionally to see people doing things they want with um my partner so like I'm a bit emotionally vulnerable anyway and just this fictional character explaining how much she wants to be held has broken me which I know is so stupid <laughs> I can't help it like I really do not want to read anything with romance right now which is all I normally read. Part of me wants to stop vlogging for this week, but I don't know, I'll probably feel different in the morning. I've got a thriller about adopted girls. I'm like, I'm gonna read that. Long distance in a pandemic sucks. <laughs>
Miller that became Agatha Christie in 1925 when she married Archibald Christie and spent the honeymoon night in the Grand Hotel which is the large multi-story yellow building just behind us uh, above those few beach houses. Over 200 of those sailing trawlers operating out of Brixham. They were renowned. Hello, I just got home and we're filming in the dark so that you can't quite see the colour of my face. Wow. Mm, and my arms. <laughs> um, I'm home. It's Friday night. I'm sort of disappointed with the amount of vlogging I did, but hopefully I got some good footage that I can show you. I think the last time I actually spoke to you, I was having a slight breakdown about not seeing Cole. So, you know, typical Chloe. Um, we're over it. We're fine. And I just wanted to quickly bring you an update to what I actually got read because next to nothing, like I'm sort of upset with myself. Um, I did get some new books too, which I've left in the car. So I guess I'll show you them tomorrow. I finished The Air by Kira Cass. I actually did that today and I've given it four stars. Don't like it as much as the original trilogy, but did have a really good time with it. And this is the first book ever I have cracked on purpose because I was struggling to read the pages. So yeah, four stars for The Air. I haven't finished Shatter Me, which was my plan, but I think I'm just gonna do that first thing tomorrow. So I'm currently 246 pages in, so I've only got this bit left. And I think this is a one star read. I will finish it though. One book I can show you I hauled um, is The Fill-In Boyfriend by Casey West. I may have to edit this clip out. I might have talked to you about it. Did not even touch Landline, Snow Falling, or The Cellar. So I have big weekend plans to finish Do The Thingathon. Um, so that's that. I need to get my phone on charge because we're dying. But I did come back to a book from BookSwap. And I won't lie, I don't remember what this is. <laughs> so... This arrived the day I left. I'm so glad they actually put it in my post box. Oh, it's tiny. It's the one by John Mars. It's a very tiny little copy, but I wanted to get it because this is one of my book favourite books of all time. It's slowly turned into, and I wanted my own copy. So I have that now. And um, yeah, then I only hauled three more books while I was away. So I did really good. Uh, my book haul for the month is still disastrous, but you know, we will work it out. So for now, I need to get in my pyjamas and go to bed and deal with everything else tomorrow. Bruce is doing fantastic. I'm looking in his little hamster butt right now. So my grandparents came in on Wednesday, so halfway through my trip, to feed him. And they brought my niece. And apparently he was in bed and he was not responding. And they got a little bit worried. But he looks perfect. He's got so much energy. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, I really don't have anything more interesting. The only other interesting thing that arrived is the Domino's menu. So I guess I will show you those books tomorrow and hopefully get some solid reading done this weekend. The sun button looks even worse, especially with my hair tied up. Okay, if I sit dead on. <laughs> Look at the colour of my face. <laughs> I just don't want to vlog for the next couple of days. This is bad. But like, it's because my body doesn't continue with it. It's just my face. Anyway, we're gonna try and ignore it as much as physically possible because I have two packages here. This one I think is from Tandem. They said they were putting me on something, but I don't know what. What is this? This is Burnt Sugar by Anvi Dosh, Do Doshi, Doshi. Oh, is this the one that normally has the sugar plant thing on it? Is it a new cover? It's very short. Wow, I was not expecting that. It says, this is a tale of obsession and betrayal. This is a poisoned love, poisoned love story, but not between lovers, between mother and daughter. Tara and Antara, the woman and her angry shadow, but which one is which? Sharp as blade and compulsively readable, burnt sugar slowly untangles the skein. No idea of memory and fiction that binds two women together, revealing the truth that lies beneath. I think this is just a redone cover, maybe. And that's why it's a thing. 
don't know. I will triple check all of my emails. I've been trying to get through my emails this morning and I don't know why there are quite so many. So there is this one. So thank you, Tandem, I presume. Maybe I should have done some more research into what was arriving before I opened things. Then we have something from Book Depository. So I know this is from my friend Sydney, who won my giveaway for um, 1,500 subscribers. So I bought her a book and as I was buying her the book, she bought me a book why we will never know so as she we were on a discord call she asked me to pick between one and two and i picked one so oh that's not giving anything away oh it's come back to me by mila gray which i got another mila gray i bought one what's it called i have completely forgotten oh there's stuff in here did she type something oh we have a bookmark um but yeah thank you sydney I don't actually know anything about this though. This is um, a fellow Marine like her brother, Riley. Kit is off limits. And um, Jessa knows better than to give give in to her feelings for her brother's best friend. But when Kit arrives home on leave for the summer, Jessa can't help but sense a change in him. He's talking to her differently, looking at her differently, touching her differently. Kit's tired of holding his feelings for Jessa. The one girl he can't have is the one girl he wants, the one girl he needs. Risking everything, the two decide to act upon their mutual attraction and embark on a summer romance that blossoms into love. It's wonderful, it's magical, it's perfect. Until Kit redeploys. Oh wait, this is like a long distance thing, but with the Marines. Sydney, I'm gonna sob. This is not This is gonna terrify and scare, and I'm gonna love it, and I'm so excited, and thank you so much. Hello. I don't think the yellow top is helping this. Just, just ignore the face. Okay. Um, I finished Shatter Me. It's over there. I don't want to think about it. I gave it one star. None of those relationships are formed. Things just happen. None of it makes sense. I, I don't have words for it yet. I think I'm going to have to wait till my wrap up to actually come up with words. So I managed to unhaul the next three books in the series. There should be a massive gap on my shelf there. I posted them on Depop and within 20 minutes I'd sold them all. So they are packaged up and ready to go and I'm happy they're gone. I wanted to go get my books out the car because I also wanted to check my post. So I have the other three books that I got from a charity shop. Um, one of which is one I already own because I'm an idiot and that's Haven't They Grown by Sophie Hanna. So this has now been automatically um, put on Bookswap. I already own it. I got it this month. I'm an idiot and I got it off book spot. Never mind. I then have um, All About the Hype by Paige Toon, which I just saw Paige Toon and decided I wanted this, but now I'm thinking it's not the first in a series. So I'm gonna have to check that and I'll hold on to it if it is. I feel like I feel like it is. So Paige Toon writes at my toast is done, I forgot about that. Page two writes adult books, so when I saw a YA looking book, I decided to grab it. And yeah, I'm gonna have to, it was giving me Daisy Jones vibes. As the daughter of a global superstar and lead singer in one of the coolest bands in LA, Jesse Jefferson's life is pretty interesting. So I wanted to grab that one. And then I also grabbed The Piano Man Project by Kat French, which says finding love isn't always black and white. Me, blonde, hopeless, hopelessly romantic charity store manager, you, intelligent, kind-hearted, piano-playing sex god. Honey Jones has a problem. She's never had a boyfriend who's really done it for her. Luckily, her best friends, Nell and Tash, are determined to help, and so the hunt for Honey's perfect man begins. But when a stranger moves into the flat opposite, their plan soon goes awry. Hal is secretive, bad-tempered, and ticks none of Honey's boxes, except maybe one. So yeah, I only grabbed these because it was three for a pound, and I couldn't help myself. I'm gonna now go make my toast because I'm starving. I don't have any more bookish updates. I'm gonna start, what am I gonna start next? The Seller by Natasha Preston. I'm gonna start that and hopefully have it finished today. This is book three. So I've added it to book swap. Hello, it is 20 past seven and I'm reading The Seller by Natasha Preston. Steph's sprints have just started. So we've just started a 45 minute um, sprint. I'm currently on page 110, so I'm not that far in. I've got quite a way to go yet, but I'm enjoying this. Sydney has said this is one of her favourite books. It really got her back into reading, or she read it when she just started to get back into reading. And I'm enjoying what I've read so far, but I don't know how much further it can go. But she said it goes way further, so 
I'm intrigued and I will let you know when I have some intense thoughts but I want to finish this tonight and I'm going to pick up some of the candy kittens I don't know who bought me this exact packet but I've carried it around Devon for five days and not eaten them so I'm going to do it now <laughs> okay I know literally no one is going to care but Corp's husband just dropped more merch it's the same original Miss You hoodie if you know nothing about Corp's husband then just skip ahead a little maybe till I'm holding a book um Corp's husband I've been obsessed with for five plus years um so when he started making music I just lost it and I am fully in love with that man um but yeah he just dropped more merch I clicked on the link for the tweet as soon as it came up um oops I'm actually holding a oh no I got a medium not a small anyway um yeah and I was in the virtual queue as soon as it was released and I got one so have spent over a hundred dollars um on a hoodie really hope that the taxes are sorted when they get here i'm probably gonna have to pay more but i don't care like i just had to have one um please do let me know in the comments if you know at all who corpse husband is because i just love him so much <laughs> it sounds so stupid that like a content creator gets that much like adoration out of me but I'm in love with that man. I don't care. Um, the seller still got a bit to go. Um, I'm supposed to be sprinting, but the corpse husband queue happened. So yeah, I'll try and read some more now. <laughs> now I've calmed. Hello, it is what time? Half 10 and I finished the seller. I really enjoyed this. I've given it four stars. There was no oh my god what the hell moment it was all very this happens this happens this happens and you can guess what's going to happen but that wasn't necessarily a bad thing like if there would have been a plot twist like a crazy plot twist I think it would have just been silly this was really really believable actually and I was very very uncomfortable at points which I appreciated and I think it's got to be set somewhere around me it's not specific at any point i don't believe but they're relatively close to alton towers the theme park which is like an hour from me like it's doable as a day trip and a couple hours well several hours away from london which would put them in the region of me i don't know why that's interesting i thought it was when i worked that out um but yeah really really good and i'm going to be holding on to this I've been having quite a lot of books that I want to unhaul lately, but I'm going to keep that one. So what I have done now is actually the end of the Royal Readathon today, which means I was supposed to finish Hex and Snow Falling today. Obviously, that's not going to happen. I'm not a superwoman. But what I am going to do is basically extend, do the Thingathon and um, Royal Readathon to Monday night. So I'm having like in i know it's not like official rules or whatever but i'm just going to make sure that i have time to finish the three books i have left obviously i'm assuming one of these at least will go on to monday which will be in next week's vlog but my first plan tomorrow is to read um snow falling it's quite short it's about 230 pages but there there is quite a lot on a page um we'll see we'll just see what happens and then I want to finish Hex so I'm over halfway and I read this before I went on holiday so last Sunday I started it and yeah I just want to finish it off but I'm not massively massively in love with it I like it but I'm not in love with it then maybe Monday it's time for Landline then I'm not leaving too much unfinished on my May TBR I'm really excited to get started on June I'm starting a little life on Tuesday and that is horrifying. I should probably say, I don't think I've mentioned it in this vlog. If you want to be involved in the read along, read a, yeah, read along for a little life, please let me know. This will be going up on Tuesday the 1st. So it's the day we're starting it. We have a Discord server if you want to join in. And yeah, it's just going to be nice to read it with everybody. So I'm excited to start that. But for now, got to get these done. And you know what? In the next two days, I feel like I can do two and a half books. We, let's do this. Hello, it is Sunday morning and the feeling I have knowing I'm not back at work tomorrow, I'm back Tuesday, is just amazing. And also maybe my face will calm down by then. It looks better? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
but yeah, really excitingly, I just booked a night away in London in July and I'm going to be seeing Rachel. I'm, I'm so excited. Um, she also wants to come up here one day. So I don't know whether, I assume that'll be after I've booked. I don't know. Anyway, that might be the time I meet Rachel. So I'm really excited. And yeah, um, night away in London by myself. I'm a little bit daunted, but think of the vlog, Chloe. Think of the vlog. It's going to be good. I'm all booked. Um, I'm watching Maddie Sprints and I we've just started a one hour sprint. I've I don't mind saying I hate one hour sprints for me it's too long so I only ever read for 45 minutes of it anyway so I've booked my hotel I'm like chilling a bit update the vlog and then I'm going to be picking up Hex. I really want to finish this today. I feel like it's definitely doable it, I haven't got much left but for some reason this book takes me time to get through so yeah let's hope I can do it today and my Iceland order should be arriving in the next hour. So I have to like stop reading at some point and actually see a human and get my shopping from them. Effort. <laughs> I mean, I could have just gone to the shop, but that's even more effort. So yeah, gonna sit and read for a bit. I've been brewing a cup of tea for an hour. I've just spotted it in the corner of my eye. So I'm gonna remake that tea and then I'll read. Okay, so my Iceland delivery came. Um, I was watching the next hour of, well, watching, participating in the next hour sprint. And I read like 65 pages of Obsidio. So I'm now 300 pages into a book that's not on my TBR. And I have a book that is under 300 pages. So I could have read it, but you know, we haven't. So back on Hex, I have 115 pages left and I need to read this. like. I don't know why I'm going so slowly with it, but I need to do it. So I'm gonna, as I said, I really struggle with the hour. So I'm just sitting, relaxing first, and then I'll get onto it. Um, and I have some Amazon books coming soon. So I will already like make my excuses now. The only reason I've got them is because we were talking about some really good Amazon deals yesterday. So I went on the deals under five pound, sorted high to low, and then I bought four books that were under two pound each. Um, one of them is not coming till next week, but three are coming in the next like hour. So really excited. They might actually fit in the post box. I don't know. They'll probably be ditched somewhere around the build and I'll have to go find them, but you will have a very impromptu book haul coming very soon. <laughs> Hello, the parcels are here and yet another complaint has been lodged with Amazon because sometimes when it says left in mail room and they're out the front, like I get angry because they haven't attempted to deliver it and we don't have a mail room. But this one says handed to resident and he didn't even ring my doorbell. I saw him walk outside. So I don't get why it's so difficult. I know I'm in an apartment building, but he didn't even ring my number outside. So he was in the building. He just couldn't be bothered to find our individual front doors. I'm on the first, I'm on the ground floor. And there was something for my neighbor as well in the next like ground floor building with two of the closest apartments to the front door and just couldn't be bothered. And this one would have fit in my letterbox, but didn't even try. Anyway, enough of the rant. I don't know why I'm doing such a big reveal. I know what's in here. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, I only got these because they were cheap. One of them I'm not even gonna read for the best part of the year. And that is Love Santa by S.A. Domingo. Um, this is a YA contemporary based at Christmas. So I'll be saving it till Christmas. I didn't have any Christmas books. Not that it's a big issue, but when I saw it for like £1.75, I thought, wow, I may as well. This says to do in December, study for exams, organize charity fundraiser, find out who my secret santa is falling in love isn't on angel's to-do list but this christmas is full of surprises so really i'm not expecting the world but i feel like this is going to be a cute thing to read at christmas i then got for a stupidly cheap price signature killers interpreting the calling cards of serial murderers um by fbi investigator robert d keppel so how do you catch a serial killer serial killers is the ultimate insight into the mind of a serial killer from the Lonely Hearts Killer who haunted the most desperate women of the 1950s in America to the infamous symbols of evil such as Jeffrey Dahmer, Ted Bundy and John Gacy. There are, these are the cases, horrifying, graphic and unforgettable, that shed light on the darkest corners of the psychopathic mind. Um, I just felt like I'd enjoy this. 
I'm trying to get into my Dennis Nilsson book and I don't know whether it's because it's based on one guy where this is going to be like broken up into different people and what they did I might be a bit hooked easier I'm not giving up on Dennis Nilsson by the way and then this one has to be the most unlike me thing I've ever ordered but I wanted to give it a go and again it was so cheap so this is Gotham High by Melissa Dela Cruz who I've read a lot of her vampire books and this is a comic book it's a reimagining of gotham for a new generation of readers after being kicked out of his boarding school 17 year old bruce wayne returns to gotham city to find out that nothing is as he left it what once was his family home is now an empty husk lonely but haunted by the memory of his parents murder but this is like normally well this says 16 dollars 99 and i got it for about one pound 50 so i just couldn't not and I'm going to be very excited to read this one. I might read it very soon. So yeah, decent haul for the day. Okay, I'm starting a new clip. I basically had a minor meltdown um, and thought I was having a stroke because my eyes look like they're in the wrong place on my face. And I don't know what's going on, but they genuinely do to me. Like this eye looks way too far over. Is it because I'm, I don't know. Is my nose wrong? I, have I always been this asymmetrical? But yeah, I just had a minor meltdown because I thought I was, I thought I was dying. Um, so we're going to start this again. I quickly popped out to get a tin opener because I wanted to open a tin of beans and realised I didn't have a tin opener. And I also grabbed a peeler, but getting it home, I've realised there is no metal in my peeler. There is no peel. So that's not going to work. Um, I also got pick a mix for half price. So here's pick a mix. And I got a travel mug because who doesn't have enough of these? Um, and haven't used my dishwasher yet. So I bought some dishwasher tablets. I don't even know how my dishwasher works. But occasionally I have so much washing up that I want to be sick. So I felt like I was going to get some just to use it on like a one off. Um, but yeah, that was a really weird five minutes for me. And I'm convinced my face doesn't look right. But I guess this is what my face has always looked like. And I'm just having some minor inner crisis. Um, but yeah, at least I have dolly mixtures to get me through it. Mm, and these crunchy things. Mm. Hello, it is 10 past eight and I've just finished Hex. So it took me way longer to read this than I wanted. The day has just got away with me today, but never mind. And I'm going to give this three stars. Like the idea of it at the start was a five star. Then I started to think the writing was a bit dense, so it dropped to a four. And at the end, I'm like, what on earth? What was that? So three stars. I don't really want to talk more about it. I'm a bit disappointed. Anyway, it's fine. Um, I'm actually dropping the original plans to read Snow Falling because I thought I would have done more reading by now. Um, I'm actually going to try and finish Obsidio, which is doable because I'm on page 422. Hello. But yeah, I think I can do this. Hello, this is Monday morning Chloe coming in to wrap up the vlog. I've started to lose skin on my forehead, so maybe the sunburn isn't going to stick around for too long. Maybe it's all just going to fall off. How nice. Charming, I know, especially when I vlog every day. So last night's plans, I think I said I was going to give up and just finish Obsidio. Just finish Obsidio? I didn't do it. I'm currently on page 504 of 615 so I'm gonna pop this on now while I get ready for my day and I should be able to finish it I might actually just sit here with a cup of tea have it on three times speed and finish it in the next like half hour so that's the plan um but yeah didn't do what I set out to do in this vlog I hope there was enough holiday content to keep it interesting I hope that is interesting instead of reading um I don't know what I hope for this vlog um but yeah if you got to this point, please leave me a weather emoji, um, potentially just a sun for the sunburn, because um, I feel like that's been the main feature of what I've actually said in this vlog. So yeah, any weather emoji. As you guys know, it really puts a smile on my face when people get to the end of my vlogs. So just the fact that you got here is making my heart full. So thank you for doing it. Um, I really, really hope you enjoyed this vlog. And on that note, I will see you in next week's. Thank you.